Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today we're going to be doing a general tarot reading, general timeless reading for Pisces. This is good for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Happy Monday. I hope you're all doing really, really well. I hope that there's a beautiful week ahead of us all. Today, let's do kind of like a, yes, timeless reading, but also with a little bit of questions about the week ahead. So there's going to be sections within the reading that are going to be not timeless, but about this upcoming week. So, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, Pisces. Rules for the channel. If one thing resonates, like. If nothing resonates, don't like. If three or more things resonate with you, subscribe or leave a comment. It can even be just an emoji, that's fine. And if more than three things, and like basically the whole reading resonates with you, like a whole lot of it, um, consider the membership thing in the channel in which you can donate 99 cents per month. Seems fair to me. Let me know what you think. All right. Universe, angels, beings of love and light, please bring in the most relevant and important messages for Pisces. Let's begin right away with the week ahead, and then we can move into the more timeless messages. Alright, so I can see, Pisces, that energies in your life are a little bit tricky right now. Not too bad, but they seem to be uh, a little bit unstable, maybe. This could be your mood, this could be your energy levels, this could be um, your relationships or connections, okay? So it's important to pick your battles very wisely all the time, but this week even more so. You are definitely shining very brightly. You're being represented by the sun. So you're gathering a lot of people's attention, whether you're wanting to or not. I feel like your talent, your abilities, um, your looks, your vibe is gonna be very attractive this week. future, there could be some consequences here to certain actions that you've taken, or better said, not taken. I see that you could be having some conflicts here that are brewing in the present moment, okay? It's like nothing has happened yet, but I feel like there are some actions, um, some accountability, some responsibility you need to take, you know, that you need to take. And if you fail to do so, I feel like that could have negative repercussions in the near future, like by the end of the week. So choose your battle, battles very wisely. Do the things that you know you need to do, especially those that could affect others. So let's say that you need to deliver something on time so your other co-workers can, you know, do their job properly. Things like that, like if they involve other people, Try your best to really show up because I feel like laziness, procrastination, uh, delaying things could really have a, a bad, like a severe impact on other people that don't deserve it, okay? And it could bring in some heartache, not only for them, but for you too. 
So be mindful of that. Try to be as consistent and true to your word as you can. But also know that not everybody will though. You know what I mean? Like do your best, but also know that you need to be ready for others to do their worst. And I know that's so sad and so fucked up, but it's like, you know, when you drive, it's like you can trust your driving, right? You can trust your car, but you can't trust the madness out there. You know, some people are like really bad drivers. So it's like not only have you not only do you have to do your own part, but you also have to, <laughs> you know, be aware that not everybody's going to do theirs. You know, people may be doing their best, but their best sometimes it's not enough. And same goes for you. I know that sounds like very not inspirational, but you know, it is what it is. Is what I'm seeing here. So it's like take care of your stuff in the best of your ability. Um, for your well-being and for others. But know that not everybody's going to be doing the same for you. I know, very sour message, but I don't know. I like to think of it as realistic. Call me a negative person, I don't know. It doesn't hurt to be extra prepared, that's all I'm saying. So I see here that you're going to be making important choices. Some of you are going to be making important choices around love, relationships, partnerships. Some of you have a lot of emotion for a Leo. Could be a Leo from your past. Could be a Leo that is in your life right now. But I feel like you have a resonance or like a preference for this Leo. You're going to be making choices um, about that, it seems. Some of you have so much to be proud of. Nine of Cups. Feeling good about yourself. Celebration. Cheers. Feeling generous. Feeling successful. Feeling accomplished. Spirit wants you to know that if you want to feel like that right now, you have plenty of reasons to. You know, there could be a lot of focus on future things. On how you want life to be in the near future. But maybe not enough awareness on how it is right now. And how many blessings are already answered in your life, have already manifested. It's so easy to look forward and look forward and look forward. And forget to, you know, be grateful and celebrate the things that have already come through. So make a list of that today. All the things that you prayed for last month that you're already living and that you can count on. Now, I see that you're going to be, again, very vibrant. Your energy is magnetic. You're going to feel like you have such a gravitational pull around everything. And not only are you going to feel it, but others too. It's like you're going to become this week kind of like the sun, you know, like the center of the universe. And not from an egotistical, um, not the center of the universe, like your galaxy. And... Not from an egotistical space, but from a being like the main character of your story, being and making the choices that you need to make from a space of, I don't know, like silent confidence. And your actions are going to be very loud, though. It's like you're, you're moving around, you know, you're moving through your life very silently effortlessly, relaxed, all good, minding your own business, but all of a sudden, um, you're going to realize that the little tiny choices that you make every day are going to be bringing in like a lot of attention. Some of you are going to be experiencing a lot of like being on the spotlight this week whether you want it or not, but I think it's for good reasons. However, there could be some drama at work. There could, there could be, ooh, I heard negligence. Oh, yikes, okay. So beware of that. There could be a fire sign here that is very focused on their own thing, their own passions, their joy, things that they find interesting that you don't. 
um, their own stuff, you know? They may be so focused on that that they could be having a negative impact on your life as well. So this is kind of like the message we saw initially of like not everybody showing up in the best way. You know that you can count on yourself, on your actions, you can do the best for you. And trust that you can handle whatever comes your way, Pisces. I feel like someone here is annoyed because maybe you're not working fast enough or you're not getting somewhere fast enough. Or it could be the other way around. You may feel like you want to go faster, but there's this person who's kind of lagging. Um, and there's this like teamwork that almost seems frustrated in the near future. Someone here seems unimpressed. I feel like it's you, um, but it could be someone else that's feeling unimpressed by someone's approach to things. It's, it's weird. It's like I feel like you know better. You know when you're slacking. You know when you're not doing your part. You're not honoring your word. You're not being respectful. It's like you can tell. You have that self-awareness. That doesn't mean that you're never, you know, engaging in those behaviors. You know, there's times in which you will. But I feel like you're aware of it, though. I feel like there's someone here who isn't fully aware of how they impact you. Or others. And it's like... Like, that's kind of, like, annoying for you and others. Like, I feel like this is someone who you can confront. And you can say things exactly as you mean them. And they're going to go one ear in and out the other. It's like, they, they, can, they don't have that self-awareness. And it can be very frustrating to try to get to them and, like, get them to understand what they're doing or not doing that is affecting you. So yeah, it can definitely be frustrating, okay, in the near future. Someone here could be reckless about their health, and that could have an impact on you. So let's say that it, there's someone here who's not taking care of themselves. Let's say um, a parent, or a partner, or um, someone that is directly connected to your day-to-day. Let's say that this person is not taking care of themselves. They are engaging in a lot of addictions. You know, they're basically, you know, living for immediate pleasure and not for their well-being. And you're having to pick up their slack. And you're having to take um, kind of like additional care because of their uh, lack of awareness. Let's say that someone here is like, drinking a lot and they're kind of like missing the bus <laughs> that takes them to work and then you have to drive them to work or something it's like someone here is being like very selfish that's what i feel like someone here is being very selfish and it's truly affecting you and in some cases it seems like you're trying to confront this person talk to them you know queen of swords energy here and it's like it's not getting through. So there could be a lot of frustration here, Pisces. For some of you, you could be really seeing um, the effects of someone's selfishness on your performance in life, in work, in your hobbies, in your health routines, you know. I feel like some of you have a lot of resistance to the word performance. And I'm not saying it from a space of you performing in front of other people or you performing in any way that is visible um, to others. It's more like you knowing that you're doing the best you can. Because sometimes we do the best we can. Sometimes we do kind of the best we can. And sometimes we're straight up not engaging. And we're definitely not, you know, taking the actions that are bringing us closer to what, where we want to be and the life we want to live. That's what I mean by performance. It's no one else's... Um, to judge just your own and do it from a space of love just knowing that it feels good to be engaged and to give things your best it feels good 
If that resonates with you, great. If it doesn't, that's fine. Remember the rules of the channel. If nothing resonates, don't give it a like. If one thing resonates, give it a like. If three things or more resonate, subscribe or leave a comment. And if more than one thing has, or more than three things, have resonated with you, consider becoming a member of the channel, 99 cents per month. All right, Pisces. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm seeing here. Like choosing your battles wisely, knowing that not everyone seems to be equipped to deal with things in the way that you are. I don't know. It's like they, they don't have the self-awareness that they need to make changes. So I see that you're going to have to sort of circle around this person and maybe take make choices and take decisions that can help you move forward without necessarily requiring this person to move forward. You know what I mean? Setting boundaries, you know, that kind of thing. In your environment, we have the Eight of Swords. So there could be a lot of... I don't know if it's gossip. Yeah, I kind of feel like it's gossip. So a lot of gossip around, a lot of talk around difficulties. So I feel like this is, let's say, in your spiritual community, a lot of talk that things are going to get hard or something. Um, in reference to like money, people being very like scared of where the economy is going to go as far as like politics, you know, things like that. There could be like a general collective talk of difficulty coming in and spirit is saying that is not accurate. Okay. It's not accurate in some cases it may be, but as a collective, that's not going to apply to a big group of people. So if you find yourself receiving like a lot of almost like catastrophic predictions um, or astrological um, predictions that are really bad, know that they don't have to necessarily apply to you. I feel like this is the first time that has ever come in a, in a tarot reading. Normally tarot and astrology go over hand in hand and it's actually like a positive thing we encourage, right? But in this case, it's like, don't freak out. Like, you know, try, I mean, always. Don't try to freak, don't freak out. Try not to. Try to see things that you have in front of you and see what is a fact and what could potentially be a perception of fear or a perception that comes from fear. I see that some of you here have a lot of curiosity this week ahead. A lot of curiosity to read, to learn, to write, to think, <laughs> engaging the mind. There could be a lot of like, like a something drawing you to like uh, puzzles, wordplay, um, languages, things that are to the to the brain a little challenging. That could be like very interesting. I'm seeing like Sudoku, um, chess, things like that. That could be very appealing for you this week for some reason. Some of you have recently bought like a chess set or something. You're going to really enjoy it. If that message is for you, that's a confirmation that you're on the right track. Kind of like that Queen's Gambit vibe. <laughs> um, then I see here that, you know, I love this about you this week, you're being represented by the sun, but you're moving like a page in the best way. It's like, like, you're minding your own business, <laughs> basically. You're minding your own business. You're not trying to gather anyone's attention. And all of a sudden you have everyone's attention. In all good ways. But yeah, there could definitely be some little drama midweek that could unfold into like a lot of frustration by the weekend. 
Does the weekend have a song called Frustration? Pretty sure it doesn't, but I don't know. Mm. You could also be experiencing here emotional difficulty during the weekend that leaves you feeling very inadequate and it leaves someone that doesn't understand what you're feeling um, being very like unimpressed by you and I know that that sucks but that's kind of what I'm getting so let's say that you feel a certain way about something you're sad or you're heartbroken or you're anxious or something and there is someone here that wants you to go to a party or wants you to go to a trip or wants you to do something that requires to be very like vital and energized and happy and you're just not there this person may be like oh you know what a buzzkill and that may hurt you know but it is what it is it seems like they don't understand exactly where you're coming from So, I haven't mentioned this yet. This week's product of the week is the Shamanic Journey series. Very powerful, very deep. Um, it will help you create connections with allies in the spiritual world that can help you in your day-to-day, -day, not only in your own personal healing, but in matters of guidance as well. So it's like having your own direct connection to your spirit guides in a way that you can talk to them and clearly hear them um, and receive that one-on-one -on -one, you know, guidance whenever you please, whenever you choose. So you will be not only tapping into the shamanic journey, learning about shamanic journey, which is a practice that is very powerful, but also discovering what your animal spirit guide is, your specific one. And through all of those meditations or journeys, you're going to be working on your self-love as well. So check the product of the week out. Check it in the description box below. I hope that you enjoy it. Now I'm going to be pulling an oracle card from the Earth Warrior Oracle, precisely a shamanic deck. And I'm going to be reading the message for you guys. Um, the, these tend to be kind of long. Those of you who have been in the channel for a while, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They're kind of long, um, but they're incredibly powerful. And they teach us a little something about different um, shamanic approaches, cultural wisdom. So it's like very, not only like deep and, and it is entertaining, but it's, it's like more educational. So let's see. Let's see what spirit has to say for us. Universe, angels, beings of love, and light, please bring in the most relevant, accurate, important message for Pisces. What is it that Pisces needs to hear right now? What is it that Pisces needs to know? Alright, so we got card number six. The number six may be relevant for you. Palhik Mana, Medicine of the Butterfly Gashina. All right, I hope I'm saying that right. Probably not, but yeah. do my best here. Let's see what the message is all about, Pisces. All right. On wings of hope, Butterfly Gashina guides you through an ending to the light of new life within. It is your transition into the happier times of increased pleasure and delight, especially if you have experienced great struggle or loss. The spirit medicine of butterfly brings hopeful promise to your heart. Here is your sign that there will be happiness, peace, and light. Trust in the goodness being birth. Ah, Pisces. Yes, confirmation of everything we're perceiving, not necessarily for this week, but, you know, as a bigger scheme of things. An apparently lost cause or a shattered dream was a necessary part of your transformational journey. What was sacrificed can be reborn into something even more beautiful. You are not meant to turn to the past as it cannot support you in the way it once did. 
Trust that you have your inner resources to handle what is happening within you and in your life. You are moving towards a significant psychological, emotional, and perhaps also physical breakthrough and transformation. You may have an inner sense of discomfort, signaling that something new is unfolding within. It is natural to initially feel a little awkward or uncertain in the face of the unfamiliar, but this is a good sign of change stirring from within. Allow nature to take its course. Trust in what is happening even while you don't fully understand it. It will turn out beautifully in the end, which will also happen to be a new beginning. There are moments when even those of us with great courage feel tested beyond our faith. Doubt, darkness, despair can creep into our minds and lash out our hearts with fear. Perhaps there seems to be good reason for our pain, the loss of a loved one, a cherished hope dashed, disturbing human behavior, the state of the environment, or some other unexpected and painful shock. There may be no particular reason for it, and yet we are somehow gripped by feelings of anxiety or despair that we cannot resolve, no matter how hard we try. The healing soul medicine of the butterfly Kachina comes to you now to alleviate your suffering, to remind you that everything you have gone through has been a part of what makes what has made you strong, compassionate, and wise. When all seems lost, perhaps everything is being gained. When all seems lost, perhaps especially then, our soul needs the gift of seeing the light, love, and wisdom of great spirits at work behind all things. At all times, always reaching out to us and always offering love. The soul needs faith and hope like the body needs air to breathe. Faith keeps the soul alive and well. You do not have to regret anything that has happened. You do not have to judge yourself or any other or wish that things had been different. You have not missed out. You have not messed up. You have been learning and growing. What is required from you now is a willingness to let it all fall away because the person you once were actually no longer exists. You may not fully realize it yet, Like the butterfly trying to crawl on the ground like a caterpillar, you may mourn the loss of your old caterpillar ways. Yet, if you take a moment to witness yourself anew now, you'll realize you're not the person from two years or ten years ago. You can then open the gifts that this butterfly is bringing to you now. Well-being, new life, vibrancy, freedom, and happiness. If you have been working hard on an issue, on yourself, on a cause, and it seems to be going nowhere, this butterfly reminds you that in the divine alchemy of transformation on things, sometimes... Wait, what? <laughs> okay. That in the divine alchemy of transformation, things sometimes appear to be going backwards as they move forward. It is the way of things. After summer, there is autumn, and then winter, and all of which indicates progress towards the next spring. If you didn't understand the creative purpose and regenerative nature of the seasons, you might be frightened by the winter, concerned that it signifies the world was ending. With knowledge of the sacred feminine wisdom of the seasons, you are now not afraid of winter. You see it as an essential part of life. You may even learn to nurture and restore yourself during that time, gaining conscious benefit and appreciation for it. If you feel you are in spiritual or emotional winter in your life, have hope. The soul unfolds according to seasons, just as nature does. Let your heart and mind rest and trust that life is growing your soul into its beautiful fulfillment. All right. So just basically a confirmation that all is well and all is becoming better and more enjoyable now let's get some oracle cards here
Number 17 could be relevant for you. And if that's the case, it could be a confirmation. You may see the number 17, you may see the number eight a lot. And that is just a confirmation for you that things are gonna get better and better, all right? Um, this is a wonderful week to get grounded, to put your feet very well planted, um, you know, on the ground, to have a very level, level, to be very level headed. Touching soil, um, earthing, placing your bare feet on the ground, gardening, connecting to herbs and plants and teas and stuff like that is going to be very helpful this week. Also, connection with earth signs and earth sign energy could be good too, especially if you have uh, either sun, moon, or rising sign in earth. The number 46 could also be relevant for some of you. Snakes could be relevant for some of you. I see that some of you are going to be shedding an old skin this week. Um, some of you, if you have like pet snakes, they will be shedding this week. Random message. Um, I see that you are going from kind of like how a snake moves in the ground to how a bird flies. It's like you're going from the earth element once you're very grounded in it and sort of taking flight into the air element. We got the sun again. Oh my goodness, Pisces, this is so good. And it also sums up to number eight. So those of you who are seeing eight, 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 eight everywhere, this is a sign of prosperity, financial prosperity and abundance, lots of good luck and success. Now, you are represented by the sun in the previous tarot spread we did, and you're also getting the sun here. So what are the freaking odds, Pisces? This is clarity, this is good luck, this is happiness, joy. This is really good. Good health, wealth. So we're getting eight and we're getting 10 as well. So completion, completion of a cycle in a successful way. And we have the beauty way, card number four, reminding us to be grateful for what we have, reminding us that even in the smallest of things, the little details of day-to-day -day life, there's beauty. There is magic. There is communication with the spirit world. Some of you are gonna be seeing dragonflies. Um, and these, I feel, are confirmations from a past of loved one who maybe really enjoyed dragonflies or had this connection with that somehow. Um, so you're going to be seeing, the, seeing those this week, and it's not going to be just a coincidence. It is someone, you know, for some of you, that have passed on, that has passed on to the spirit realm, and they're saying hi, and they're sending their love, okay? Especially if you are born on a fourth, or if they were born or passed on a fourth. Maybe fourth month of the year. Maybe a year that ends up with the number four. You know what I'm saying. Right. Since we're going to be working with animals for the part of the week. I'm going to be tapping into the oracle of the animal spirits. Seems appropriate. <laughs> I have that one right here. So let's see what is coming in. I'm going to be doing like a full um, Celtic cross spread with this one.
Love is all around. Some of you need to take a time out, but you can't really afford to take a time out. Find ways during your day to rest and recharge, even if that's just meditating, you know, for 10 minutes. If that's just, you know, playing your favorite song while you shower, I don't know. Find ways to make your day more pleasurable. Even if you can't really take time off, even if you can't really slow down, find ways to make the hustle and bustle a little bit more fun. And that's going to help you feel more rested. We have, again, the number 17. You guys, this is an important number for you this week. And in general, whenever you watch this video, the number 17 is very important. Also the number 32 for some reason. Sorry guys, I had a bit of an interruption, but I'm back. Where did we leave this reading? Okay, so in the near future, if we're taking this reading as a weekly, then this is going to be by the end of the week. Maybe even like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You got the card, this and that are true. So this is a card that requires you to think about like your perspective and other people's perspective. And to be open to the idea that you could both be right. And... You know, every time this card comes in, I give the same damn example. Some of you who have been listening for years, you must be sick of it. But for those of you who have not heard it, it's going to be very relevant. Um, so an exercise we did on a workshop once really marked me. And it was a group of a bunch of people. It was a big group. And we had a glass of water. And everybody had to say something about the glass of water that was factual, that was true. So, you know, one person would be like, well, it's transparent. And the other would be like, well, it clenches, clenches thirst or whatever, however that is said. Um, um, it hydrates. It's delicious. Whatever. It changes forms and shapes. And whatever. Everyone said something true about water. And that the whole point of that would be that, you know, it's not always one opinion against the other. There could be like a lot of accurate opinions that don't clash with each other and they're all true even if you stand by one and another person stands by another um so that is kind of the mindset that you're going to be needing this weekend um taking things into consideration trying to not get too attached to your opinion and trying to also not cancel out your opinion um, because this and that both can be true so if you find yourself in a position in which you need to remind yourself of this they're telling you watch your words so a good strategy this week would be to maybe stay silent see how everything unfolds you know be a little bit private it's like you have power within your silence and i feel like it's going to be an easy week for you to uh, kind of like say the wrong thing to the wrong person, you know, at the wrong time. Not that that ever happens, you know, from a spiritual perspective. Everything is divinely guided, no matter how awkward it is. Um, but I don't know, I feel like there are some things that are optional here. <laughs> there are some things that you could totally, like, go without. So, yeah, watch your words. Not only in conversations with others, but also watch your words... The words that you use in your thoughts, you know, the words that you use in your intention setting, um, the way that you describe your current situation, your hopes, your dreams, your past, right? Um, pay attention to that. That's going to help you reclaim your power here. They're telling you, know your worth. Don't lower your worth for anyone. Take the lead. Be grateful. And make the most of this time because you are experiencing a time of good luck. You have the rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time. And, of course, you have a sun twice from two different decks. I mean, come on. Um, good luck is here, Pisces. Make the most of it. Some of you, I feel like you're a little bit off. No worries. You're going to get aligned to that good vibe. It's, it's something that may happen in the few days that are coming. 
and you may find yourself from a space of like chaos or lack of alignment you may find yourself effortlessly aligning and all of a sudden feeling like everything is just peachy so yeah Pisces, make sure to check out the product of the week, the Shamanic Journey series. I remember when I started my Shamanic training, this was literally the first thing that we ever did. And back then, like, I had no um, concept of anything psychic or anything energetic at all um, besides yoga. And I remember that the first shamanic journey was so powerful, I cried. I cried and I received like a bunch of messages and it was so real, I remember that. And yeah, it really, it really just stuck with me. And that was the first product I think I ever did. I, I was like, I'm gonna find the way to learn enough about this, to share it with others. I'm going to find the way of recording audio because I don't know how. I'm going to find the way to make a website. You know, it was that was kind of like the fuel behind it. And, you know, we have updated the product several times. We have tweaked it and made it better and better with time. But in essence, it's it's the same thing. It's connecting to the same spirits. And I hope that it is for you as powerful as it was for me as it continues to be for me. And, you know, with this course, what you get is basically allies in the spiritual world, friends, <laughs> if you may, um, in the spiritual realms that can help you with things that, you know, you can't really handle yourself in the physical. I don't know. I feel like it's also good for, like, having connections that are yeah, maybe not human, right? But more pure god knows that humans are complicated anyway pisces check it out just check it out see if it is for you if it's not for you that's perfect you know if it is for you then great that's you know even better i hope that you enjoy it and i'll keep you updated what else what else pisces um thank you thank you for supporting the channel thank you for becoming members those of you who have recently Thank you for your likes, your comments, your subscribes. I love you guys so much. I hope you truly know that. And I'll be seeing you in the next reading. Bye, my loves.